You may be seated. Good evening. It is my families and faculty to the commencement ceremony for the class of 2022 from Kennewood Hills High School. My name, my name is Zeke Dykstra, your class president. I am honored to be able to guide you through this most incredible ceremony today. I stand before you looking back on four years of legacy we've all made together. Think about that for a second. We as a class, as students, as athletes, as musicians, as artists, as sons, daughters, brothers, sisters, and as a group of growing young people, we're able to leave our very own legacy. A legacy on our family, friends, school, community, and our world as high schoolers. And we did it together. I mean, wow. That is simply beautiful. Our very own legacy. A legacy filled with great highs and great lows. However, we made it. We did it. And that legacy is special. And this is because it is a legacy of love. A legacy of the remarkable power that love is. It has been an interesting high school experience to say the least. But we know this. This is something we have been told and shown often. And the reason we made it through the way we did to this day today. Last year we lost Victoria Erickson and Kayla Chapman. Our class has been through seemingly endless change, loss, unprecedented times and adversity. Yet through all of this, we've persevered. And we've do even done more than just persevere. We've grown and changed, and we have been a force for positive change. For example, during our years of high school, homecoming and swirl courts have become more gender inclusive, and the importance of mental health has been brought to the forefront. In the closing number of the musical Hades Town, they sing, some flowers bloom where the green grass grows. Our praise is not for them, but the ones who bloom in the bitter snow. We raise our cups to them. A flower growing in the dead of winter is a rare and beautiful thing. All of us will go through winters of adversity, pain, and loss in our lives. In fact, all of us likely already have. Whether you lost a family member, a pet, a friend like Victoria or Kayla, had a major mental or physical health struggle, trouble within your family or friend group, or anything else that caused you pain. And maybe it still hurts to think about. But it is crucial to remember the pain and the hard times because guess what? You made it. You survived all the pain, adversity, and loss that life has thrown at you. Maybe it feels like you were barely hanging on, barely surviving, but you survived. And through it all, we have all grown and learned. Maybe you learned to cherish all the moments you have with everyone you love. Maybe you learned to have more empathy and compassion for those around you. You learned um, to check up on your friends and those you love. Maybe you learned the importance of challenging your beliefs in what you were always taught. Or maybe you learned that it is okay to not be okay and that it is okay to not know who you are or who you want to be. Whatever it may be, we have all managed to grow, learn, and become better, to bloom in the bitter snow, and that is truly amazing. As you leave Kenowa and go on to the next chapter of your life, there will certainly be more challenges, and that is why it is important to remember the ones you have already gone through. Because when you remember all the adversity and pain you have already survived, you also remember all the strength you have. And the strength that made it possible to push through and learn and grow from that trial. You made it through a global pandemic, so you can make it through a job interview, a final exam, or just about anything else. Um, in Mulan, the emperor says, the flower that blooms in adversity is the rarest and most beautiful of all. Regardless of who you have become or what flower you have grown into, we have all bloomed through adversity. We also all had support and help growing through those challenges. 
As we graduate today, we must remember all the friends, family members, teachers, coaches, pets, and directors that have helped us survive all the challenges of life and make it to graduation. Congratulations, class of 2022. We did it. Thank you, Teresa. Before we get to honoring all of our graduates, I would like to take a moment and honor our retirees. This group of teachers has over 150 years experience. Mary Stitt, Dean Lazowski, Pamela Flint, Tammy Lovett, Diane Grandia, and David Lyons. Could these, excuse me, could these teachers please stand and we can recognize their years of service. Please give them a nice round of applause. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce the class of 2020 from Kenowa Hills High School. Each and every one of these students has met the requirements set forth by the State of Michigan and the Board of Education for Kenowa Hills Public Schools. At this time, they are able to graduate from Kenowa Hills High School. Assisting with diplomas and congratulating our graduates are our board members, President Tracy Hart, and Vice President Aaron Labatz, Treasurer Melissa Corte, Secretary Eric John Chapaniak, Trustee Stan Truskowski, Trustee Jeff Gustinas, and Trustee Daniel Roberts, as well as our Superintendent Jerry Hopkins. Names today are being read by the senior student class advisors. They are Abigail Barnes, Adam Buckwalter, Zeke Dykstra, Amelia Holt, and Zoe Paskowitz, as well as the senior class advisor, Miss Amanda Voss. Class officers, please come to the stage. At this time, the first row can rise and walk to the stage. Our graduates are being assisted by the Honor Guards, Laura Fair, Mary Lee, May Lee Perry, Josh Baukamp, and Spencer Vanderheide. Pictures for tonight's graduation are being taken and will be available from Guest Guest Photography. Abigail Marilyn Barnes. Adam Doyle Buckwalter. Ezekiel James Dykstra. Amelia Renee Holt. Zoe Isabella Paskowitz. Yoliva Alfar Marquez. I got you. Yep. Alyssa Marie Montenegro Sergoya. <laughs> Asha B. Matanowski. Cameron Lee Gessner. <laughs> Kira May Langloy. <laughs> Santana Xaviera Love. <laughs> Lydia Grace Garcia. Teresa Siobhan Bell. <laughs> Emma Sue Hildebrand. 
Shofi Alam. Justin Andrew Stulp. Grace Riley Sage. Michaela Elaine Pondell. Andres Mario Paniago. All right, Parker Michael Scott Rapalji. Nathaniel Alvarado Barones. Dallas Robert Van Dusen. Itzel Huerta Barones. <laughs> Kylie Rain Thompson. <laughs> Brooke Taylor Cookingham. Anya May Alice Appleby. Alexandria. No, Alexandria. Alexandria Caitlin Marie Van Dyken. <laughs> Sylvia Rose Shulock. Marissa Lynn Hilliard. Kirsten Ray Myers. Ashley Ann Diced Rogers. Jacob Michael Kyan Dengate. Chloe Elizabeth Lehman. Cameron Malik Laramie. Gretchen Elizabeth Riley. Melanie Vale. Autumn Nicole Van Dyke. <laughs> Bailey Nicole Grimm. <laughs> Alexandra Lynn Fernandez. <laughs> Ashlyn Jeanette Kimball. Olivia Sarah Jane McCormick. <laughs> Madalise Marie Alonzo. <laughs> Jesse Quinn Kyling.
Alexis Marie Girth. Soha Dilip Kumar Patel. Cheyenne Marie Ambler. Jamili Desiree Daniels. Abigail Rose Dyke. Mallory Catherine Hoon. David Michael Brower. Ethan Isaiah Deman. Max Farhat Barrett. Evan Michael Bruker. Zachary Donald Walker. Zachary Joseph Bashega. Ethan Allen Ogden. Justin Martin Schulte. Avery Lake Gravelin. Addison Ray Levendusky. Michaela Joy Kilzuski. Eleanor Theo Wittemeyer. Gage William Majeski. Noelia Giselle Gonzalez. Priscilla Alicia Rodriguez. Jose Aaron Santian. Spencer Allen Copeland. Nicholas Ryan Heinrich. Kylie Opal Kimball. Ethan Hunter Heisma. Graydon Philip Badger Howard. James David Elzinga. Olivia Isolina Mendez. Ariana Angel Dela O. Natalie Marie McCune. Rihanna Grace Helder. Nikolai James Allen. Malachi Elliot Hagstrom. Anaya Evangelina Pori Campos. Alexis Ray Parm. Keegan Douglas Powers. Kaylin Michelle Bickle. Carl.
Colin Riley Sabota. Gabriel Hardy. Madison Jesse Wolf Baker. Kaya Emily Shank. Okay. Stacy Ajapama Apini. Yoshino Hota. Taylor McKay Hardy. Austin Lee Van Putten. Nathan Yersevich. Nathan Jack Moe. Joshua Joseph Timothy Smith. Bryson Lee Tappan. Alexander Paul Jacob. David Allen Ellison. Aiden Mize Martin. Broderick Daniel Ralston. Taylor Jolie Ambrose. McKenna Marie Bueller. Isaiah Nicholas Ignasiak. Ayana Rose Pasikowski. Timothy Sontag Hildebrand. Peyton Jonathan Van Klompenberg. Vanessa Barbosa. Juliet Alize Stark. Owen Richard Taylor. Gibson Lawrence Olette. Christian Michael Kimball. Noah Michael Kosminski. Jackson Charles Pinkelman. Keegan Michael Paddock. Alana Ruth Ann Whitaker. Kylie Ann Koltak. Garrett Michael Nickel. Armani John Baskin. Cameron Michael McFall. Moses Levi Mendez. Roman Ulysses Ramos. George Parada Garcia.
Thank you. Amelia Antonia Borallo. Thank you. I'm going to move this. Alma Alman Holgstrup. Okay. Austin Jeffrey French. Thank you. Thank you. Kylie Margaret Jeffries. Hi. Riley K. Cook. Peyton Louise Thayer. Preston Robert Mull. Dylan Van Wynn. Jacob Jeffrey Bergsma. Zachary Christopher Bozak. Autumn Elizabeth Cole. Brianna K. Chase. Aaron Michelle Murphy. Emily Noel Bradford. Lauren Nicole Wenz. Benjamin James Wolford. Trevin Robert Laming. Ava, Ava Margaret Menzel. It's okay. We're good. Colin Christopher Holtland. Jack David Kubiak. Bryce Dwayne Parcher. Jaden James Bentley. Ethan Courtney. Uni VJ Patel. Bridget Noel Shoup. Yes. Anna Katharina Joe Harmon. Yes. Shayla Grace Dykehouse. Yes. Victoria Imani Outing. Brooke Leanne Vanderlaan. <laughs> Ava Jean McCourt. I got it. It's Fremo. Fremo. Tomas Fremo. That one I got. That one I got. It's Scarito. Clara Scarito. Anne Marie Powney. <laughs> Madeline Nicole Reamer Papis. <laughs> Cadence Nicole Osborne. <laughs> Lido. Okay. Andre Lydell McLean. Easton Chase Ryan. Joshua Eugene Caldon. Calton. Hunter Davis Carmony. Zachary Richard Thompson. 
It's me. I finished the show. Lexi Sky Koshiba. Scott Brandon Perkins. Amber Lynn Sandel Shuda. Christopher Schroeder Blazak. Emirates Mambazi. Tara Simone Taylor. Ashlyn Marie Andre. Yeah. Emily Ann Galloway. Talia Jaden Sky Wright. Israel Makai Pagan. Madison Joy Plug. Gabriel Mil Millen Birma. Cassandra Lay Brannon. Delilah Shaughnessy Mosteller Van Ocker. <laughs> Eli Jacob Carter. <laughs> Lucy Ella Jeanette. <laughs> Lily Olivia Jade Granger. Lainey Danielle Zamitis. Nathaniel David McCune. Andrew Robert Philip Kazminski. Cody Jacob DeYoung. Augustine Lorenzo Orozco. Marcus White. <laughs> Michael Berdo. Now I would like to call up our very own valedictorian, Adam Buckwalter. During his time here at Kenwell Hills, he is proud of his strong impact as a member of orchestra, the basketball team, captain of the tennis team, National Honor Society historian, and class vice president. This fall, Adam will be serving a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints for the next two years in Ecuador. He's especially excited to teach the people of Ecuador about Jesus Christ. After he has fulfilled his mission, he will be attending the Brigham Young University to study biology. It gives me great honor to introduce one of my best friends and simply an incredible person, your valedictorian for the Kennewa Hills class of 2022, Adam Buckwalter. Hello, everybody. Welcome 
Thank you all for being here tonight. Today, we are gathered to celebrate our graduation from high school. The word graduation serves as a reminder for all that we have been through and all that we have accomplished during our times as students at Kennewell Hills. On the contrary, my focus tonight will be on the alternate and more official title for tonight's ceremony, Commencement. The Merriam-Webster uh, Dictionary defines the word commencement as to have or make a beginning. Today, we are celebrating the beginning of our new life outside of high school. And what will success in this new life entail? In our professional lives, each of us will find success as we improve our talents through hard work and dedication. In our families, we will find success as we actively seek to form strong bonds with those we love. Within our communities, we will find success as we treat others as we would hope to be treated. In all of these aspects, we will find success as we develop habits of service. For indeed, a life of service is the greatest legacy any of us could hope to leave behind. As taught by the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr., everyone can be great because everyone can serve. Moving forward, we will be faced with great adversity, and that's okay. We have never expected anything less. Our time in high school has taught us that life is unpredictable and challenging, but it has also taught us to be adaptable. It is my prayer that we can and will use our past to better our future. I feel this poem by Rudyard Kipling has particular significance and relevance to our graduates. So I'll, I'll read that now for you guys. If, if you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too. If you can wait and not be tired of waiting or being lied about, don't deal in lies or being hated, don't give way to hating, and yet don't look too good nor talk too wise. If you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thoughts your aim, if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same, if you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken, twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools, or watch the things you gave your life to, broken, and stoop to build them up with worn out tools. If you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it in one turn of pitch and toss and lose and start again at your beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone and so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold on. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue or walk with kings nor lose the common touch. Oh shoot, I'm missing a paper. <laughs> That's awkward. <laughs> if neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you, but none too much, if you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds, Back here? I can't. Does this work now? Oh, awesome. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind this one. <laughs> All right, we're going to go from here. <laughs> I guess I'll just start at the back, back at the beginning of the page. <laughs> if neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you but none too much, if you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it. And which is more, you will be a man, my son. I know that if we try our best to live the way that this poem is teaching us to live, we will become men and women of great power and virtue. Graduating from high school is a great accomplishment, and we should all feel happy and grateful to be at this point today. However, we did not come this far to only make it this far. As we each commence our new lives, let us commit to bettering ourselves and our communities through a lifetime of learning and service. But living up to these commitments, we will contribute to the building of a better world. 
and indeed the earth and all that's in it truly can be ours. Thank you. Hey, we love you guys. Let's change the world, baby. Woo! Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Zeke. I'm supposed to follow that. My name is Gerald Hopkins, and I'm honored to serve as superintendent of Kennewa Hills Public Schools. My responsibilities this evening are twofold. First, it was my privilege to shake your hand as you walked across the stage. Thank you for allowing me to congratulate each of you on the completion of your journey. I know the travel was not easy, and there were many obstacles along the way. The perseverance and positive, optimistic attitude you demonstrated throughout will serve you well as you begin the next chapter in your life. Thank you for being extraordinary leaders for the classes that follow. You are a truly special, and I mean that special class, whose potential has no limits. Be brave, be bold. My second responsibility is make this official. So Kennel Hills class of 2022, please stand. By the authority vested in me by the state of Michigan, I confer upon you the high school diploma with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereunto. After receiving the high school degree, the tassel is shifted from the right side to the left side of the cap. Doing so signifies the completion of your high school. Graduates, you may now move your tassel. Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, it is my honor to introduce the latest graduates of Kennel Hills Public Schools. Class of 2022, you've waited 13 years. Let those caps fly.